Maztec Precision, you have chosen Open Mind and Ipermill. Now, I'm going to get straight to the point. Why did you do this? I think really it's mainly because of the safety inclusion software that we have that's available. That we just really that gives you that extra reassurance and that confidence that you know what you're going to be running on the machine is actually going to be all right and you're not going to have any bumps. But surely all software has this built in? Yeah, but to a certain extent. So then this, this software is just, it's just the next level really and really well, gives you that, r that real confidence and uh, just the, the detail and the, in the simulation is uh, it was something else I've never seen before, really. So can you give me an example of how this works? Because, you know, I'm quite fascinated. I know Open Mind have a philosophy of get it right first time every time. You know, there's no need to have scrap. Yeah. Um, so how does it work? Well, I've got an example on the screen at the moment, and it's just a simple bit of ball nosing on the five axis. As you can see, w once it's run through the, uh, the simulation, it will just give me that double check and those ticks to make sure everything's all right. As you can see, it's checked against all the uh, parameters and everything's okay. So now I, now I know when I go on the machine, everything's going to be all right. You know when you're using different types of work holding, different yeah. cutting tools, different holders, yeah. um, how do you put that into your software? So during my, uh, my job set up, I'll make sure I have everything as I have it on the machine. So like you said, the tool, tool holders, the tool stick out, and then all the all the work holding will be identical to what we uh, what we are running on the machine. And it, here at Maztec, you've standardised this process, haven't you? Yep, yep. So all our uh, all tools, um, the most common tools, they're all standard in all the machines. So they're all correct stick outs, and well, we can change this. So if we have uh, jobs that need like longer stick outs, we can unlink them, but the, the database will stay the same. So anyone can jump on and um, that will be what was in the, the machine and will be the correct stick out. Now, here again at Maztec, you produce extremely complex parts on the fifth axis machines, full simultaneous, but you also produce, um, you know, standard, quite basic parts yeah. on your free axis machines. Now, correct. do you use the software for the free axis and the fifth axis machines? Yeah, we do, yeah. So doesn't matter what the job is, if it's going on the machines, it will be set up correctly with all the work holding tools and run through the simulation before we go on the machines. And why don't you program, you know, simple parts on the machines? Um, I think really it's just because we we do have this software and it's just it's a lot quicker. Uh, we could we I know you could probably just do it on the machine uh, manually, but most of the time it just jump on the computer, take a couple of minutes post it out and you can run through it and job done. Now, you know, how long have you been using this software now? It's just under a year now, so I'm really, really enjoying it and getting, obviously there's a lot to learn, but we're get, I'm getting the hang of it now and, uh, yeah. So you, you mentioned it's getting faster, you know, apart from the safety aspect and not having a collision, which is extremely important because you don't want a machine to be down. You know, what about how user friendly is it? You know, the transition from your old software to this software, how have you found that transition? How did you find the training? Or did you go on a training course? Yeah, so I was sent on the Hypermill training course at Vista. Um, yeah, that was really, really good, really helpful. Really, the, the guys are really good there. Um, it was about a three day course, and uh, I learned a lot. Um, I'll come back, come back to the working here and. Uh, Yes, but so was it easy to pick up? It was, yeah. It was. There's obviously there's a lot to take in. There's so many different ways you can do things, and it's, it it goes into really complex. It's really really clever. You've used many software packages now in your short life as an engineer, yes. um, and Open Mind say you know that they are the best. They openly say they are the best. Would you agree with that? I think so. Yeah, definitely. I'll definitely stay with them, and uh, yeah, many more years to come. Mm.